Rage on that beat, going crazy. What's up? Today is a, you know what? It's kind of awkward. So I'm gonna try something different. One second. So uh, today's topic is about Hollywood and is it dying? That's a good question. So Anthony Mackie is a movie star. He could be a television star too. It just depends because he does series, he does movies. It's just, if you know who Anthony Mackie is, if you don't, you've been sitting under a rock for the past like 20 years. That being said, Anthony Mackie once said that Hollywood is a business. It is in a different time period now. Business has changed interestingly. Going to the movies used to be an experience. It used to be a family affair. It used to be an event. Um, I agree with that. It's just, it's a different time now. The business, they make movies for specific uh, audiences as opposed to just making good movies. He's saying they used to make movies um, that were good movies and now they make movies for specific audiences and I get it because a specific audience is gonna be the ones that pay money. For example, I can't remember the last time I was super excited to go to the movies. Um, might have been like, maybe Fast and Furious, maybe Fast Five. For that long ago, I haven't gone to a movie since. A lot of people think it's because I have children, but I just, I'm not excited about movies like I used to be. Uh, they make movies now for a specific audience instead of just making a good movie. And he also talks about this is the reason why people really stopped going to the movies with streaming and everything that's been created for the audience to be able to get whatever they really want to get at any given moment, video on demand. More people have theaters in their house. For example, my house actually is set up for a theater style viewing experience, but it also allows me to watch movies the way that I want to watch movies. Do I want to get up and go to the restroom and be able to pause it and not miss anything? Yes. It's become more of a how a person views versus what a person views. I think that the way that we are with the internet and with COVID and everything that has happened recently, our attention span has been scroll, scroll, scroll. And a lot of what Hollywood's making is attention grabbing and the idea that it already has a fan base. Um, if you look at things like Star Wars, the Marvel series, DC, uh, you can even go into books like Divergent, Dune, um, all these different movies, these blockbusters and spectacles that are coming out has already built a following. And I'm not saying that the movies aren't good themselves, but they're relying on a contents fandom to bring in the money. But if you really think about it, the studio, it's basically gig economy, right? So a studio can make a huge Marvel movie and make billions and then float on it. Another thing he said was, if you think about it, some of the movies that were our favorites growing up wouldn't be made now if it was the original. You think of some of your favorite movies growing up, those movies wouldn't get made today. He brought up The Godfather, he brought up Scarface, and I thought about the Rocky series with, with Creed, right? Creed I don't think would have been a great movie if it wasn't for Rocky and Rocky's fan base. I like Creed movies, but it also has a background. Uh, you have a pre-existing piece of content that this built off of. But he's right. He actually talks about um, how Hollywood does not really do risk anymore. And he brought up how some of your favorite movies from the past are just being repackaged. Has anybody ever seen Stranger Things? <laughs> Stranger Things is Goonies. Most people agree with what he was saying. So I'm pretty sure he's not really that far off. With that being said, I know every story has been told, at least to the core. So stories will have their similarities, but I get what he's saying. He's saying Hollywood is putting money over making a good movie. There is an exception to what I'm saying because you got companies like A24 who is creating a bunch of new stuff that actually surprises me. But yeah, do you think Hollywood is dying? Because that's the big question. Ooh, Steel Magnolias. Don't remake that with a bunch of 21 year old girls. They can't, they can't do that. You know?